guys, what's up? It's Influx here. Today we're playing Jax vs. Trundle Top. Some action going on in the bot lane. It sucks for the Swain. So, we're going to be trading with this Trundle by bonking with Grasps and taking short trades with E because Trundle does add all in us. So, you see, we take a quick trade there, we land the stun, and we are going to then walk away immediately because Trundle probably has the strongest level 1 all in out of any champion in the game. So, we're going to keep the trades nice and short. He also has lethal tempo, whereas we have Grasp. So fighting him would, would just be a really, really bad idea in every way. So we land another stun here, and we walk away. Hit him with another grasp. He's using his W, so we'll come back later when he when it's on cooldown, and he's no longer has the attack speed boost. But he backs off, so that's fine. We can just start CSing minions here. And now the next wave is here. Now, I'm still focused on trading grasps and ease onto this trundle, but that's wrong. I should be full focus, 100% on hitting these minions. I should hit him here, and now I should stay inside the minion wave, let my E stack up, and then hit as many minions as possible with my E, so that I can shove the wave as fast as possible. Because I don't do that, because I wasn't focused 100% on hitting minions to get the wave in, I can't shove the wave in fast enough. And now, we get the minions here, but Trundle can hold the wave. And the next wave is here to hold the wave right in front of his tower, and now it freaking sucks. There's worse champions to get the wave frozen on you against than Trundle for sure, but you don't want this to pretty much ever happen to you as Jax in any matchup. So we quick trade on the Trundle there, we leap away immediately, because we don't want him to force an all-in on us when our E is on cooldown. We don't want him to drop his W and start bashing us over the head with his freaking club. Talon shows up here. So we're going to bunker with Grasp and just ghost away. At this point, we're too low on health to stay, so I'm just going to recall, TP back, and try to force the freeze. Trundle's got really little mana and really low health, so we're just going to cancel his back here. He can't stop our... He can't stop us freezing this wave by himself. So, of course, Talon shows up again. We use our E as soon as Talon queues onto us here. And I'm even going to try to hold the wave again here. And that makes Talon come top to, you know, just for sure crash the wave. Because I want to waste his Talon's time as much as possible. If he's going to come top lane three times in five minutes, then I'm going to waste his time as much as I can, right? Here we Q onto W the Trundle. Usually you can't Q onto Trundle like this because he'll just use his pillar to force the fight on you because you have no disengage tool. But we have such a big minion wave and we still have our E, so if he tries to fight us in that wave, we will probably win it, so I'm not too worried about that. Now at this point, we really want to be full focused on crashing this wave here. We have level 6, we can bonk the trundle with W there, get our grass proc, and chunk him out. Get the cannon. And then I go for a grass proc on the trundle here before I leave, just to chunk him out a little bit before I recall. But that was actually a mistake, I don't think I would do that again, because that could have gone really badly if Trundle used his E to cancel my Q like he tried to do. And that's just not worth the risk. So here, we quick trade with the Trundle. We have Sheen now, so that's going to make these short trades, these short, these quick bonks, really, really good. A lot stronger. I drag the wave here to force the freeze. And I'm just going to keep farming it out here. Bonk the Trundle with the Sheen. I miss my E though. And Trundle pillars me, so I'm going to W him one more time and just walk away here. He ults though, so we're just going to leave. We do not need to take that fight. And I ward over the wall here because I'm a bit worried that Talon might look to dive me. Bonk Trundle again, land the stun. And you just keep short trading Trundle like this pretty much. Now I'm just trying to deny Trundle from getting his Demolish proc on the tower. Just positioning myself between him and the tower. Here I trade on the Trundle a little bit, use my E. And Talon's in the bush with a pink. I, I wasn't expecting it. But you know, this Talon's shown that he really likes my company, so you know, I should have been expecting it pretty much, right? But... Honestly, that would have been 100% fine if I had a ward. I didn't have a ward to ward hop away from them with. If I did, I could have just leapt over the pillar and then I would have survived 100% there, right? 
Another tip versus Trundle, as pretty much any champion, is that you don't want to use your dash before Trundle uses his pillar, because then you can just hop over his pillar, right? And then it's a lot less effective. So here I miss my stun, sad. Trundle freaking pillars me and gets a few more orders off. That's fine. We can walk up here, bonk him one more time. He lands a few more orders than I would like because his lethal tempo is stacked up. So we're just going to chill back a little bit and wait for his lethal tempo to wear off a bit. Bonk him, land stun, and he ults us. So we're just going to leap out immediately. It steals a lot of defensive stats and it steals a lot of health. So we do not want to take that fight. Now that he's normal sized again, we can just, you know, walk up to him and try to bonk him with Ws again. We can interact again. Use my E, land the stun, bonk him with W and grasp, walk away. And he uses his pillar when he doesn't have ultimate and we do. So we're just going to jump on him. His pillar is his only real way of disengaging from us. So, you know, if he's going to be that disrespectful, right, then we can just fight him with the ult advantage. We take our plate here because it gives us our Divine Sunder if we get it. And here comes Ghosting Squid trying to take us out. So we're just going to pop our own ghost and leap away. And now we TP back, and now we can try to set up a freeze here again. We have our Divine Sunder. Trundle uses his pillar there. We're a bit too slowed for me to be able to land our E there, so unfortunate. But now I'm willing to just, you know, chain short trade with him. Like, the Divine Sunder trades are just way better in these scenarios than his Frozen Art is, right? So... And we see Trundle mid. So I'm just going to shove the wave here instead of trying to freeze it. But then Valkos is topside here. So I'm going to try to see if I can jump on him here. And he actually lets me. So we land the stun, we W him there, and we walk away here. We sit in the bush here, and we actually get onto him. I mess up the combo though, otherwise I could have landed a W on him before he got away there. So that's my bad, but I don't think it would have killed him anyway. I think he would have survived with like... 100 or 80 health or something like that. I try to get the Herald here, but guess who's back? So we're going to just stun Talon and leap away. And now I have no mana, so I can't stay. I'm just going to recall here. They're chasing Blitzcrank down, and Blitzcrank actually manages to get one for one with the Talon. Oriana TP's behind the Velkos, so I'm just going to go over here to cut him off. And we just land the stun, and we just finish him off. Now, Oriana's already covering top lane, so I should just run mid here. Catch that wave there. And I want to try to go for the tower here. I'm trying to stay close enough to it to start stacking my demolish. Trying to pull me here, that's fine. He doesn't do quite enough damage because he has no damage items. He's full tank right now. And I don't get the W there, which is, you know, sad. There we go, we land another W, we land the stun. And he pillars me here, so I'm just going to, you know... W him and walk away. Because he's not that strong, right? Except Talon's here again. He really wants a piece of me. And here's Blitzcrank. He lands a hook on the Trundle, and I'm going to immediately jump onto him and ult him to try to burst him so that he can't get his ult off before the CC wears off on him, right? Shove the wave here. I'm still looking for this tower. And I just force it off of the Trundle thanks to the Demolish. Shove another mid wave here. I see a fight going on bot lane here, but it looks pretty scuffed, so I don't think my TP is really going to make the difference at this point. Like, this Kaisel is looking mighty dead. So I get my items, except Kaisa is still alive, so at this point I will TP in to try to save her. So we go over here, we combo the Swain a bit. And now I'm going to loop around to see if I can maybe save the Kaisa here. And the Kaisa plays it really well. So I burst the Talon here, I go over to get the Swain as well, and that's a double kill. I go over into the Tribush here to be a loving ward for the Kaisa so that she has safety to move through there. And now we're all going to run top lane here. What I should probably have done was stage bot lane to push that tower. But we're going to get this Valkos here, so that's not bad. Oriana wants this wave, so I'm just going to go do Herald. Zed's doing Dragon bot side, so we're doing both neutral objectives at the same time right now. Which is, you know, pretty risky. We chase the Talon off here. I managed to get the Herald here. And our Zed unfortunately does go down and they get the Dragon. So I'm going to run mid lane here, catch the wave, since no one else is doing it. And we see Swain in our jungle, so I'm actually going to go collapse on him here. Swain is in illegal territory here. He gets pulled back over the pit. 
And he's Zonia, so I'm just going to jump onto the Valkos here, who goes away, so I can't catch him anymore. So I'm just going to chase after the Swain here, and Zed manages to get him. Fair enough. I recall, get my Spear of Trojan. And now we run down to bot lane. Meanwhile, Trundle ate a tower. I'm going to go over here, stop his back, and now I keep shoving the wave here. I have the Herald, so I am applying a lot of split push pressure right now. I see the Valkos, I try to jump on him. But uh, he lands a slow, and he walks into my Q range, so I'm going to jump on him here. And Jonal completely traps him with the pillar, so he has to flash. I try to go onto the Valkos here, but I get slowed, so I can't actually catch them. And it's just time to leave here. Jonal tries to flash onto me to Q me for the attempted kill. I don't know if that would have killed me, even. But we see some action going on top lane here. Here I finish my recall, so now I can start regenerating resources, and now I can look to TP in. We have a really good flank here, but Trundle's also TPing in here. Trundle uses his pillar to block me from entering the fight. So they stop our Baron, but we get a 1 for 2. So I'm going to go mid lane here and try to shove that out. But Trundle's messing with me here. And there's Ash as well, so I'm just going to leap away here. But Trundle uses his peeling tool to try to force the fight on me. That means I can just jump onto the Ash here and fight them. Now I think I back off here because I didn't know where Valkos was, even though we saw on top lane, so I could have absolutely kept fighting this, but my map awareness sucks while I'm fighting, so freaking GG. So I want to go bot lane here, shove the wave up. I still have Herald, and I have to drop it here because it's about to wear off. So I want to apply the side lane pressure with it while Baron is up. Now I want to defend the Herald from the Talon here, but I'm really low on mana. So here I back off to try to wait out the Talon passive. But I get tagged by the W here, so it just resets the duration anyway. We force the Talon R though, so that's nice. But at this point, we're completely oom, so we can't mess with the Talon anymore. Now, I don't want to recall, because I don't have a good buy-in base, and also Dragon is spawning really soon. So I'm just going to instead get the Honeyfruit, and then just shove out the wave here. And then go start the Dragon. We get it uncontested, and I'm just going to recall here at this point. I just don't have enough mana to keep staying on the map. You guys can see me struggle in the chat with summoner timers. While I shove out the wave here. Some action going on top lane here. But I see the Kai'Sa getting engaged on. So I'm going to back off here actually to see if I need to TP. I back off so that Trundle can't just stop my TP with his pillar, right? So I start my TP here. I pop my ghost to chase down the Velkos here. I managed to get on him, and we land the stun, and we just finish him off. At this point, we can just go for the Baron here. Trundle's still pushing bot lane. Oriana goes down to defend against the Trundle. Even if he got the second tier tower, it's still super worth, right? Baron for tier 2 tower. Like, I'll take that. So I'm going to go up here, shove the wave up. And again, it's Trundle and Ash. Stun the Trundle, leap over the pillar. Dodge the Ash ult, and we just walk away, we force two ultimates. We're pretty happy with that. We do get a bit chunked out though, which is not ideal. But again, we did get two ultimates. Unfortunately, Kaisa does get caught there, but we can push for a second tier tower here. Shove another wave. Just keep this wave pushed in, to threaten the split push. So here I just want to beat on the tower with my E up, right? And then when my E takes tower aggro from him, I'll back out. But he actually ranges my E so that it doesn't hit him. So I can just force the whole tower off of him, pretty much. And then we just leap out. And we just walk away. We even have our ghost if worse comes to worse, right? So there's no chance he kills us there. And we just ignore him and take the tower off of him. So, some more fighting going on here. I'm looking to TP here. Except Oriana TPs about half a second before I was going to. And we don't need to both TP, right? Just one or the other is enough, so I just decide not to TP there. We just secure the dragon here. We get the soul. I go over here, beat on the tower. And now I have a really good flank here. Ash is isolated. So I'm going to use my ghost, and I'm just going to dodge all of Valkos' abilities with the ghost here. Jump onto the Valkos as well. But he goes over the... Wall, so can't chase him there, shove the inhibitor there, and a little bit of a DC here. And when I come out of the DC, the next towers are down, and uh, yeah, that's that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope to see you in the next one.